made her speed like that? What happened next? What happened to her? Stop being so mean to the police and just comply. Sit back and enjoy the best crime chases for today. Let's get started. On August 13, 2024, while on patrol, the police discovered a black car speeding 53 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. The police asked the car's owner, Julia, to stop the car and show her documents. Good morning. Is that because speed was 35? You're going 53 this morning. It was three people in front of me, ma'am. I want to report this because this is outrageous. Okay. Do you have your driver's license and insurance? I don't understand why I was being pulled over. Can you show me the, the uh, what I was, the speed I was doing? Because hey, I was going 53 and a 35. Can you show me? Yeah. I'm asking you to show It'll me. Be on the camera for court. I know. Can I? I want to see the camera now. It, I can't do that. Can I see your? Uh, can I speak to your supervisor? Oh, sure. You have your driver's license and insurance. I'm asking for a supervisor. I'm asking for your license and insurance. I'm asking for a man, a, a supervisor. Okay. In the meantime, I need your driver's license. I'm asking for a supervisor. Can I see a supervisor, please? Take all morning. However, she refused to provide information about her identification documents and asked the police to provide evidence of her speed. Supervisor's on the way. I need your ID. Ma'am, I've asked for your ID repeatedly. So, you don't have an ID? I'm not an emergency. She's just not cooperative at all. Girl! With this girl. She's mad. What? Did you give her a ticket? Well, I haven't even given her one. She just stopped her and said she was going 53 and a 35, and she refused to give me her ID. She started requesting a supervisor from the start. Oh. Um, delightful. Okay. And it's a rental oh, yeah, car. I figured you did the cage the time. And it's a rental car. Yeah. Did you give the other officer your, your ID, ma'am? Yeah, okay. You have rights, too. But we don't we don't have to show you that stuff, ma'am. You don't have to show me, so I don't have to show proof that you know, No, that it does it doesn't work that it doesn't work that way, ma'am. It doesn't work that way, ma'am. I wanna know where's my proof. Where's the proof that I broke the She just told you that you did. Ma'am, we don't have to show you our radar equipment. No, we don't. We don't, ma'am. She picked me out of all the people. Where's her proof? Can you ask her? Where's her proof? Can we have, ma'am, can we have your ID, ma'am? That's all we need. I just explained all that to you. And yes, I did, ma'am. Because we don't have to show you what our radar stuff reading is. No, we don't, ma'am. Maybe for court, but not right now. Y'all know we are too, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Still here, still waiting for your ID that you won't give me. Yeah, you can make this process go a whole lot faster. Go very poorly for you, dear. I got, I got time. So can I speak to your supervisor? Can you bring your supervisor out? They're in route. Okay. Julia continued to refuse and refused to cooperate with the police, forcing them to use force to intervene. It's just one of those mornings that everybody's angry. There. I want you to also understand that by refusing to give your ID, you'll be subject to arrest. Or you will go to jail. If that's what you're waiting for to provide identification and be arrested for not providing your ID. Okay. I tried. Sometimes they do. Sometimes. Under threat of arrest, I will provide an ID. Ma'am, can you at least keep your hands visible during the traffic stop? Put your hand on the steering wheel. You can record with the other hand, but take that other hand. Yep, fantastic. I appreciate that, dear. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. I still can't hear you because this window is up. I still have no idea what you are saying, but I appreciate you for uh, for putting it up. Okay. Do you have like a warrant or something? Because like we can take care of that. That's not hard. It, it's all right. That's what we do, ma'am. On a traffic stop, we walk up. I didn't do anything wrong. How can you prove that? Oh, because you're refusing to provide your identification. No, you did not provide your identification. That is what you did do. Uh, I believe she said you were speeding. Is that correct? She's speeding. Instead of providing your ID and uh, possibly getting a speeding ticket, your, your car is now getting towed. Man, this could have gone completely different. That was on you. And there's not no reason. You have refused to provide your ID. And I didn't even do anything. You 
You say that I was you, you say you didn't do anything. You said that I was being I did threatened. say that, and you, you were. You said I was being threatened. Yes, 53 right. and a 35. So I was doing 53, so everybody was doing 53. Uh, and she's admitted to speeding now. It's impressive. Right? Correct? No. So I was the only one. So was it cars in front of me? No. It wasn't cars in front of me. Cars in, cars in front there of were cars in front of you, not going 53. Okay, so what cars? So how are you going to get to a tow truck? Where's the supervisor at? How are you going to tow something when I ask for a supervisor? I don't need a supervisor to tow your car, ma'am. I do not. Good day, sir. I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> I could not do it. I, 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 I just don't have the, I, no but patience. the patience here. Yeah, yeah. If that cracks in the window, my taser's going to run. I'll put your ass off. I'm going to run I'm serious. <laughs> I got time for this shit. Oh, man. There's when, always, oh, there's always there, one there's somewhere. There's people that might really need your guys' help. Yeah. This bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I know. I watch those videos and I'm like, mm -hmm. what in the hell does this world come to where a cop can't do their job? Yeah, I know. Because Julia did not cooperate. The police were forced to break the car door and arrest her for obstructing public service. Dear, dear, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to give you a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. Ma'am, I'm giving you a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. Okay? Lawful order to step out of the vehicle. You're, for, you're failing to provide your ID at a lawful traffic stop, which is a crime. Okay, so you can either, you can either roll the window down or are you going to provide your ID? Absolutely. Are you going to provide your ID? For what? What did I do wrong? Speeding. Speeding was the reason for the traffic stop. Are you going to provide your ID? Are you going to provide your ID? Okay. Oh my God! Ah! Oh my God! Please step out. No, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. I didn't even do anything wrong. Oh my God! This is crazy. Can I speak to the supervisor, please? That is no problem whatsoever. That's what I'm here for. Why do I have a seat when there's all this stuff right there? Scoot in around it, you're fine. I'm trying to sit down, ma'am. After searching the car to ensure safety, they took her out and transferred her to a police car to wait for her to be taken to the detention center. I was that's the funny Dude, part. That's I was what, not, that's what but I did not I was not even speeding. That's, that's the crazy and that's, part. And that's what courts I was made. not even speeding. If you weren't speeding and she can't prove it beyond a reasonable doubt, then you can't be convicted of speeding. But uh, out here on the streets is not where we can argue those things. This is crazy. They then took her to the detention center to complete the legal process. She was charged with obstruction of official duty. What do you think Julia's punishment would be in this situation? On March 12, 2024, while on patrol in Ohio, police came upon a couple arguing on the side of the road. Ari said her husband tried to grab her car keys from her, injuring her hand. Are you okay? Yeah. He tried to snatch the keys from me and the key cut my finger. Cut my hand. Let me see. You okay? <sighs> yeah. I can get you a band-aid. That's fine. Hey, who's it? Who is he to you? He is my ex-husband now. Well, he's my husband, gotcha. but I'm going to be following for a divorce. Gotcha. Literally, the cop literally saw him about to chase me and grab what? after me. What? He does that okay. shit. Relax, relax, relax. Just bring it down. You're not in danger now. I know you just went through something, but we need we need specific questions answered in a specific order here. So let's focus on that. We understand that came from the keys. Yes. So you had the key in your hand. And he he ripped tried it, to rip and it, it cut you and as a broke result of that. My okay. chain. Yeah, okay. the whole key thing broke. Where do you guys live? Uh, Doorham Place. We okay. were door dashing okay. together and got into a little spat. The spat led him to disrespecting me. I told him that I didn't want to do this anymore. I, I can't take you calling me. We're driving. You're yeah. calling me a bell in my ear. I can't do that while driving. That's dangerous. I don't keep doing that. I stopped right here and told him, hey, either you find your way home 
oh, you got to get out. He kept yelling at me in the car. He snatched the keys from me, which caused me to bleed. I got out of the car. That's when I saw the cop. The cop came and pulled around because he saw my husband about to run and grab at me. That's when he came because the cop literally saw my husband about to do that. He does it all the time. He literally puts his hands on me all the time. There's been incidents where people in public have seen it and he disrespects me. I can't keep doing this. Have you ever filed charges against him? No. Okay. I, I try not to. I just, I don't, we have a kid together. I don't want to do that, but it's just, yeah. Well, sometimes you got to because it's not up to you. It's about what he does. The couple said that they left their one-year-old child home alone while they went to work delivering food through DoorDash, claiming it was nap time. This raised concerns for the child's safety, and they decided to call Child Protective Services to check on the situation. So their child, their baby, they went to DoorDash and left the child at home sleeping. Oh, and she just said they have a baby, yeah, and, and they were door dashing. Yeah, they decided to door dash during the nap. So oh. the baby's at home, alone. On Doran Place. So we need a West Crew to go over there. We'll have her have a seat back here. Yeah, the doors are locked. I can't yeah. even make it up. No, 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 because it happens too much. I know it's hard with kids, and that, that often plays a, a big role in people's decision. Have a seat and fill out a statement here. Thank you. We'll go back to our, our car here. Their, their baby's home, taking a nap, alone in the house. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, they have two other kids, so where are they? You know, are they at school? Where are they, too? Because this one, there's one that's one, so that's probably yes, that one. The one here. Uh, just sit all the way in there for me and then fill that out so we don't have to stand out on the side of the road here. Watch your toes. There you go. The officers expressed distrust of the couple's behavior, noting that this was a recurring problem. Unbelievable. But she's filling out a witness by a domestic violence statement at least first. Um, this family member something? Because I want her to fill out the DV statement first. The two kids are in Maryland. They don't two live, kids. The other two kids? Yeah. They're in Maryland. They don't live in Maryland. All right. So oh, wow. we're going to have to have call Children's Services. Yeah. And have them probably meet over there. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, then they'll do they'll do a safety plan with these two to place them with somebody else. Yeah. So or they're gonna have to take we were gonna try to get some food as we were pulling up. I'm not blaming you, homie. Yeah. It's them. We was pulling up to get some food, and then we we're supposed to be at the garage at, at one for an oil change. Yeah, I've at one. Somebody's period. calling you. West Crew's calling you. Although she claimed the child was with her grandmother. The officers remained suspicious and noted discrepancy in the couple's statements about leaving the child home alone. Okay. You left your child alone at home while you guys went door dash. Who said? He said. Uh, no. Okay, so where is your child? With his grandmother. Where is we have to go get her from his grandmother. That's what we were heading to. Okay. She said we need to Where's, go pick up the baby. Where is the grandmother's address. I have no idea. That's between him and the grandmother. Okay. So then well, why would he say that no. you guys left the child alone? I don't know why he would say that. Okay. I guess for y'all to let us go or so we can leave, but no. Okay. No. Uh, hang on, hang on. We're not, we're not, we got to investigate it now, at least at this point. I don't have a phone. I don't have nothing on okay. me. I okay. don't know what you're going to do. I'm in the car. Hang on. As the police responded to the situation, tensions between the couple escalated. Ari screamed and became agitated, forcing the officers to intervene. I do know my rights. Uh, put your hands back. Uh-uh. Excuse me. For what? Can, Can you I ask you what I'm... Wait, wait, wait. I have anxiety. Yes. I, have, I have mental Cooperate. health. Cooperate. I have mental yes. health. Please. 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 Put your hand behind your back. Please. Okay. Please. Put your hand behind your back. Okay. Cooperate. Please. Yes. Do not try to I'm not. Out. I'm not. I'm put just... your legs back. I'm already now. claustrophobic. Okay. I will roll down your windows, but you're not going to get your legs up here. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Stop. I'm 
I'm just trying to be comfortable. That is it. I will let I have you. mental health. I'm okay. just trying to be comfortable myself. Please let my life out. Stop resisting. I am not. That is all I'm trying to do. Thank you. Stop. That's all I'm trying to do was just put my legs on the seat. You're, you're about to get hobbled. Is you're, what's gonna happen. you're overreacting. No, Thank you, you are. I'm just trying to. Put, Nobody is going to Why are you yelling at me? All Open I'm trying to tell you. Listen to what they're all calling All I'm trying you. to tell you is literally okay. I have fine. mental right. health issues. That's yep. all I was saying. Please, I have mental health. Please, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I leave me alone. Leave me alone. I need you to try to I can't. I can't. I'm hyperventilating. No, please don't get my car towed. I paid on time. I have all the things paid off. But it. No. 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 Everything is going bad. Everything is going bad. Everything is bad. It's going bad. Stop. Please get, I can't Stop. breathe. I have asthma. Yes. You're, you're, you're working yourself up. I told you to calm down. Stop. Please get off of me. Please you get off of me. You need to chill out. Baby, I can't breathe. You can breathe well enough to scream. No. You're going to get back in the car and not bang your head? Ouch. Why are you hurting me? Because Nobody you're is doing anything. This and you're trying to grab me. So you just Stop. agree that you're hurting me because I'm not it's listening to pain you? Compliance. That's Why? Ultimately, the police decided to place the child in the care of Child Protective Services, explaining the reasons and emphasizing the need to protect the child's safety. After all, Ari was arrested and charged with obstruction and child endangerment. In Pensacola, Florida, a Walmart surveillance camera captured a woman named Angel attempting to hide makeup products. As she was leaving the store, she was stopped by a security guard and a police officer. I've got in my bag. Uh, I have my card, I have my, oh shoot. What's in the bag, Nat? What are you pulling out here? I'm sorry. No, that's what, yeah, that's what I had in my, I'm sorry. I had, okay, this is, yeah. Okay, well, I saw you going around the store and I just, like, you had a bunch of little makeup items, a little gold. Yeah, no, I just paid, yeah, I just paid $60. What's your name? Angel. Angel, Angel what? Here, do you want my ID? Yes, please. Yeah. That way it make it a lot yeah. smoother. Okay, and this is the only one you slipped in your pocket by accident? Yeah, you can, yeah, absolutely. But okay. yeah, I just spent $60. Um, no, I, I understand that. I have I my just, car, I have my wallet, my It's ID okay, I'll just write your name down. A N G. You got a pen? No, I have a pen. Angel, what's your last name? Tupling. T U P. No, for once, I don't have my pen on. L I N G. Okay, yeah, we can, can we just walk over here real sure. quick then? I appreciate yeah. it. No, it's it's if it's just a misunderstanding, yeah. I'm sure he's no, not. No, it was. Yeah, yeah, I did not even. Yeah. Yeah. I apologize. No, Angel initially denied paying for the makeup for $60 and denied stealing. When searched, police found a plastic bag containing what appeared to be methamphetamine, although Angel denied it was hers. Expired driver license. Driver license not valid. All right, we can go to the office. I was just running her real quick. If you got her info. You have anything else of theirs? No, nothing else. Okay, can I search you real quick? Make sure, sure. you don't got anything? Sure. I'm sorry? You need to search me? Yeah, I'm sure. looking for their property. You okay, said yeah? yeah. Okay, can. all right. Mm -hmm. You got nothing tucked on you, do you? No. Okay. What is this plastic bag? This is a plastic bag. It's just like... Oh. Okay, you can... Why? All right, here. Put your hand back. Why are you trying to get rid of it so fast? Huh? You use meth? No, I do not. Okay, I well, something I'm just fell on the ground. I'm in the program, actually. You're in the what program? Just went to, um... Okay, I asked, move your foot, because you stepped on a piece of rock, all right? And there's meth pieces in here. I don't even do, I don't even do that. It's, it's in mind. your pocket, and you're trying to distance yourself from me. No. Okay. Okay. I don't like lying. I'm not all right, it's a very simple. Can you go in my car and grab some gloves? What was it? What did you just throw behind you? Another piece of that rock? I didn't throw. Okay. Listen to me. I didn't throw anything behind okay. me. Nothing. The bag you pulled out. No, I was whenever... actually trying to get that thing right okay. there that has my my snot in it. It's disgusting. Like, okay. yeah, my nose is running. I'm sick. I don't have. Listen to me. I don't. Okay. I'm listening. You can tell me. Well, I mean, you keep you took the bag from me, and then when you put no, the bag, you, rocks you fell out of it, and it looks like mess. Listen, no. Whenever you first like you put your hands in my bag, like I have a snotty rag in my. You know it's what I'm saying? It's fine. I can. Yeah. I should have washed my hands. I don't have anything on me. Okay. Well, just plastic bag. You know what I mean? Yeah. Indicative of narcotics. Definitely. All right. It's all up in your 
It's in your pocket. Well, then that, okay. Well, then that girl, okay. That's not mine. I don't do uh, methamphetamine. I used to do fentanyl a long time ago. Okay. I don't right. do. And then just by running you, you have a lot of arrest history for stealing. All right. What? Yeah, you've been arrested by Escambia several times. Hang that's on. That's not true at all. I've never no? been arrested for theft. Is this yours? That's mine. That's mine. I came into the door uh, with that. I have a receipt for that, actually. And I, that's honest to God. You can look at the... Yeah, I, I don't know. I never saw it in your buggy. Yeah, I came into the store with it. I didn't come I'm in with a... With a... Saying, I'm just putting it down there. I'm not saying that's yes mine. or no. Do you have anything in your bra? Because I'm going to have a female officer come up here. Fine. What is it? Can you just know now? Make sure it's not like needles or anything? It's weapons? not needles, no. Is it a weapon? No. What is it? I don't have any needles or What's anything. What's in your bra? Upon further questioning, Angel admitted to hiding a yellow Walmart lip gloss in her bra and denied using methamphetamine. So what in, what is in your bra? Um, there's a gold lip gloss in my, in my bra. Okay, which is what you saw on camera. Okay, that's what I saw. You Anything else? Pocket. No drugs? No. Drugs. All right. And your car is over there, but you yes. have no keys. I'm, I'm with my boyfriend. My boyfriend's in the car right now. Okay. Yeah, he's here. I'm just going to have a female officer thoroughly check you, all right? Because I'm not going to go digging up in your bra and all that. Let's walk over here. Sit. Just sit. Have a seat. You can sit in there. At, like my butt first? Yeah. However you need to get in there safely. All right. You're good. Yeah. All right. Nothing else on you? No, sir. All right. Pretty sure that bottle is ours. Remember that pink thing I said? Yeah, that she took it all out. Sure that had come out of it. Well, the whole time she kept she kept digging in her pockets, I was like, what the f is she doing? And so you can see the little crystals she, that fell out of the bag. So she says, I don't do math, I do fentanyl. I'm like, hmm. I bet there, I'm willing to bet there's drugs in the car that she was going to get a ride in. When questioned further, she admitted to using drugs in the past but said she was trying to change and did not want to go back to her old ways. Hey, What's thank up? you. Um, simple shoplifting. Okay. Uh, she had a plastic bag that had meth in it, and Yucky. there's more stuff in her bra. I don't know if there's more drugs. Okay. Just a thorough search there is. She already admitted that there was uh, some of their property in her bra already. So okay. let, me, let me go get some Is clothes. she in there? She's on this side. Let me get all right, ma'am. Go ahead and hop out for me. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Officer Tewsberg told me that you already stated. Yeah, I have it. It's right there. Okay. I don't have anything else. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you face this way, okay? Okay. I'm going to pull out. Do you want to fix it when you're done then? I will. Okay. Mm, so, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to try to adjust. Thank you. Thank you. I just want my boobs like. Thank you. Yep. Upon further questioning, she asked to have her food and belongings delivered to her boyfriend, identified as Brent. Police found Brent, who had legal issues. You Brent? Um, she wanted to give you something. She's going to jail. Yeah, uh, Miss, she's she's in the car. She's shoplifting. Okay. All right. I don't know how you got here, but your license is suspended. So, <laughs> and you're on probation. So, um, do you have her property? Does she have a purse and all that? Can we get her purse? Okay. After all, Angel was taken into custody for drug possession. On March 31, 2023, while patrolling an intersection in Georgia, a driver named Laura was stopped by police by violating a stop sign. I need your license. I was barely, you was barely okay. over this the is a, This is a traffic stop okay. and I'm stopping you. Okay. Okay. I need your license. Okay. And I need you your driver's you license. You even behind me. How do you even know? I stopped. I need your driver's license. I stopped. Don't start with me. I need your driver's license, bro. Do not bro. start with me. 1251 or 1038. You gonna give me your license? You're not getting my license. 
Okay. So you bring whoever you need to. I'm gonna bring my lieutenant. And then okay, you... well bring them. Well, bring them. After the stop, Laura claimed that she had just stopped and did not see the police. When asked to provide her driver's license, she repeatedly refused, claiming he'd done nothing wrong. I, I saw you I, run, not I stop at the stop, the stop sign. No, you're okay. not gonna tell me that I, because I, just I stopped. I stopped because my baby was crying, okay. and then when I proceeded, I kept going. You was you was coming up over the hill. You wasn't even behind me, nor was you at the stop sign. Robert Mary X Ray four zero five four R M X four zero five four. Don't come over here with that bullshit. Okay. Pull up the camera. So what's going to happen is you're going to get a citation okay. if you get your license. Okay. If you don't get your license, you're going to go to jail, okay? Oh, whatever. And then you can go to court and fight that. We're not, this is not, this is not a uh, court trial, okay? Bring your, uh, lieutenant. Okay. Like that. He's coming. Okay. And I'll see him and I'll wait for him. Okay. Well, make sure you stay out here. Don't go inside the house. I can go inside the house. You're, you're not free to go to. right now, ma'am. You're not free yes, to go I because am. I just stopped yes, you. I you am. see my blue lights. You see an officer and I'm telling you, you cannot go inside. I've been going not, inside. No. I've been going inside. And after I told you not to go inside. So you're not free to go, ma'am, okay? Understand that. Laura explained that they had stopped at a stop sign and did not see the police and that there was a child in the car and did not want to be ticketed because she had not violate traffic laws. What's going on? I started, I started to grab her, but she had a baby and she went and grabbed the baby. She went inside the house. Said that, um, so I'm coming up Garden Drive. I see the car just fell to stop at the stop sign. Um, and then so I turn around, turn my lights on, she pulls in here, turn my lights on, tell you the guy in the car, she's like, I ain't doing this and this and this. You ain't seen me do this. And she gets around, gets a kid. They're still working on my son, Jim Crow. And here we are. I'm holding the progress in seven and a verbal domestic. Is this her? Yes, for me. So I'm coming here. Okay. He's coming well, up. Patrol 28. Okay. Forward. He's coming up. I want to be clear. He's not even behind me. My baby in the car. She cried. I stopped at the stop sign. I didn't even see. He, we wasn't even face to face at the four way right here. Man, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Because hold on, hold I'm on upset one because I got to be. Stop. 329 Street. We, we patrol this area. We get planes all the time on these stops. And we've been living here for years. Okay, I understand. He, we but wasn't you, even face to face. I'm just telling you. It don't matter. So how can you tell me I did not stop when I know plain as day I stopped my baby in the car. She making noises. I stopped. It's okay. As soon as Listen, he wasn't even at the not, doorway with not. me. As soon as I'm moving, okay. that's when I see him come to the that's uh, stop we, sign. That's why we got court if you want to fire. But, but I'm listen, not getting no citation. Well, ma'am, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. You're making it worse on yourself than it is. Yeah, he right. has asked you for your life. He has the right because you was on the, on the roadway. He has a right to do that not because that's a state law. Ma'am, it don't matter. If he stops you, you he has a right to get your license from you. And if you don't, he can charge you. I still have a license. I still have a license. Have a license. Listen, you're making things way bigger than what I mean. give you my license, but he wasn't about to do that, period. Okay. At that point, the police decided to arrest Laura for obstruction. Laura still resisted, leading to a struggle as the police attempted to handcuff her. I always want it to seem like somebody looking for something. They're just going to find something. Well, that's how I feel. I got obstruction on her. You understand what he's saying? I'm sure it's in charge. You know what I told you? I asked you for your license. You said you weren't going to give me one, right? I, I told you this is a legal Do stop. what you have to okay. do. So gonna, I don't care. You're going to be placed under arrest for obstruction and you're going to get a citation for the pot okay. okay. All you had to do was I'm, give me your license. Well, fine. Okay. Do what you have to do. I'm going to turn my car off. I'm going to do what I can do. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're not. Ma'am, we're, 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 don't make it no worse. Let me turn it off. You want me to turn it off? You don't understand that. You're still not following directions here. And you turn around, put your hands on your back. Do what you have to do. Can you You're going to be placed under arrest for obstruction, and you're going to get... He's, stop moving around, he's saying that I had an obstruction charge because stop, I'm in the... Stop, stop moving around. Stop moving around. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma you're doing the most. Ma'am. I'm moving ass. I'm telling you just, to stop moving. Ma'am, just... Put the put cup you. on my hand. It's not that well, hard. Sorry, well, you just stop moving, I can do that. Ma'am. Get your hand off my hand. Ma'am, you don't... I know what to do. I know what to do with my hand. Don't stop. Jasmine, you know what to do with my hand. Jasmine, put your hand. Put your hand. Jasmine, put your hand. Jasmine, put your hand. Well, put it back there. Wait, don't let me. You can't do that. Stop resisting, ma'am. Well, if she's stopping resisting, that's the wrong. No, you're not going to do that. Okay, okay. Stop moving. Stop moving. Ma'am, unfortunately, you're going to have to ride with me, okay? So stop stop resisting and get in the car. You don't have to be rough. She's if, a woman. If she would just do what we asked. No, she was about to. She knew you said she knew you. No. You do not have to jack up like that. I need to, make sure, the the I need to make sure the handcuffs. I need to make sure the handcuffs are. I need to double lock them, ma'am. Doing too much extra stuff. You don't even have to do all of that. I do, ma'am. No, you don't. Get in the car. After all, 
Laura was charged with obstructing an officer and violating a stop sign. What do you think is an appropriate fine for her? A shocking incident on July 15, 2022. Police were dispatched to the scene after receiving a 911 call about a domestic violence case. The caller reported that a woman was yelling and attacking a man nearby. Upon arrival, police approached the man matching the description. How's it going, man? Good. Hey, were you just walking with the with the girl? Huh? Were you walking with the girl down Pate Street or anything like that? Okay, we got a call. It's a guy possibly getting smacked around by a girl in a pink shirt. So we're just checking there. You're I see good. Someone down there. You saw somebody down there. Pink shirt. What's all the scratches on your neck, man? Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Despite visible injuries, including scratches on the neck, the man initially reluctantly identified himself or cooperated with the police, asserting he had committed no crimes and thus did not need to provide identification information. What's your? Do you have an ID on you, bro? No, I don't. You don't. What's your name, man? I don't need to tell you. Yeah, no. look, bro, I mean, it doesn't need to be complicated, man, but I have a lawful reason to stop you, okay? Because we got dispatched, you matched the description of the guy that was getting beat up by a girl. You have injuries on your neck, all right? It don't matter. I haven't broken no laws. I understand. Laws. Listen, listen to me. I haven't committed a crime. I don't need to provide you with that identification. Okay, just listen. I have a lawful reason to stop out and talk to you, okay? If you don't want to identify yourself to me, I'll take you to jail for concealing your identity. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. What's going to happen if I tell you my name? You're going to leave me alone because I walk away? We're gonna go, we'll go from there, okay? If you don't tell me your name, you're gonna go straight to jail. I understand that, I understand that. You gotta understand that. I have a job to do, I have a job to do, okay? You have scratches on your neck, okay? Which are signs of some kind of battery, all right? Which, which, are probably from your, which are probably from your girlfriend, right? So if it's from your girlfriend, that means it's a domestic violence. So which means I have to investigate it and I'm authorized to take some kind of action on it. If you don't wanna do anything about it, we can let the courts and all that know. I understand that. I'm obligated by state law. I feel like. Okay. That's what I'm telling you. As the situation escalated, it became clear the injuries could have been caused by his girlfriend. This indicated a domestic violence case requiring further police investigation. Laid it all out on the line for you, man. I said I didn't okay. a crime. I, didn't. I, I, I get that. I get that. But I don't know that for a fact yet. All right. So are you going to give me your name or not? Okay. I'm, I'm going to tell you. Last time. I have a lawful reason to stop you and identify you. If you don't want to identify yourself, we can just take you straight to jail for concealing your identity. Why, if I committed no It's that. You guys are dicks, honestly. You guys are like, no, we're yeah. actually investigating. I, 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 see, I see what you guys are doing. Like, I okay. know you guys are doing your job, obviously. Okay. But so why are you I keeping me from doing my job? I'm not keeping you from doing your job. You could go talk to the, the person down there, like I said. You didn't, you haven't, you haven't, committed you, the, haven't, didn't commit no you haven't said anything. So why are you trying to f me? Because I have the lawful reason to identify you. That's why. Because you were involved in the incident that you are now talking about. I'm not, I didn't say nothing. You did. You when? just said to go down there and talk to the person that did do it. I don't know who I'm going to talk to. <laughs> Find out what the f I can't, because you're not giving me any information, man. You be the victim. I don't want to be a victim. I don't want to press charges. I don't want to be a victim. See what Finally, he revealed his identity and being attacked by his girlfriend during the argument. Subsequently, the police found the woman and interrogated her. So what's going on? I, I just had an argument. It's nothing serious. I'm sorry. It was more on my part. So I gave him my ID. And okay, where's your ID? Uh, there you go. It just expired. No. <laughs> That's me. That was my old address. I lived with my parents then. I just graduated high school about three years ago. So what's your relationship with this guy? Uh, That's my boyfriend for about a year now. Okay, and so what's going on between you two? It's a verbal argument, but like you said, we're both at my mom's shop right now. It was nothing extravagant. Okay, it's more than a verbal argument because we had people calling in saying that a female was hanging on the shirt of a male. Ah. And there is screaming, so... I mean, you can check me and you can go to the no, shop. He's and, like, bleeding, you're bleeding. I mean, you can talk to all of us, though, but no, he... He didn't do any of that to me. If anything, it was myself and my nails. Look at my nails. Okay, right what there. happened? I scratched myself. I do get pretty crazy myself. I put nothing on him. In your what? Law enforcement? You know what I'm saying? My, my, like, my rights. The girlfriend fiercely argued with the police, asserting her rights and challenging their actions. 
The arrest became chaotic when she assaulted a police officer and damaged his glasses. I didn't lie. It's not even him half the time. It's me. Okay. I will completely say that. I'll go to jail right now for that. Okay. You should have thought of that earlier. Leave him the out of it, though. You're a f***ing bald ass f***ing fat white ass Go! Hey, you. Respectfully, do not touch her like that. I'm telling you, respectfully, do not touch her like that. Stop. Tries to kick me. You didn't even beat one. That's why one cop had you in handcuffs. This action led to her arrest on multiple charges, including property damage, assault and battery on a police officer, resisting arrest, and domestic violence. Okay. Have a seat. I really do promise I ain't gonna spit on you. I'm no. sorry. Nothing's over here. Come over here. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Been on days way too long. I'm ready to go back tonight. Yeah, like that. Do you have a I don't. Any kids? No. No, what? Nope. 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 The situation peaked when the woman was arrested and protested the police action while the man was released from the scene. Do you think this crazy girl deserves to go to jail? On May 2nd, 2022, Dunwoody police discovered a car running a red light and a flat tire in Dunwoody, Georgia. Recognizing the safety hazard, police activated their lights, signaling the car to stop. Instead of stopping, the car accelerated towards a gas station, abruptly parked, and the driver disappeared. He messed the shit. <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of do stuff like that. Hang out. I mean, is it open? Uh, it's hard to tell. Is that your flat tire over there? Did you see who got out of it? No. no? Okay. An initial search yielded no results as locals knew nothing about the driver. Meanwhile, another car with the flat tire into the gas station to refuel. What do you mean? Because you have a flat tire. That would have happened like two days ago. A flat tire happened two days ago? And you've been driving on it like that for two days? Yes. yes. I don't have registration. Which one? This. this. So, uh, I'm still not understanding how you've been able to drive for two days on a flat tire. I have been driving for two days. I drove for my car today. You had anything to drink tonight? No. Oh, yes. Okay, how long ago? Two hours ago. Two hours ago? What's that? At Josephine? Where's jo Josephine? It was my first time there, so I live in Cobb County. Uh-huh. So that was like 25 minutes away from my house. Mm -hmm. Police spoke with a female driver and noticed her speech was slurred. Kind of confused at how you think that you have a flat tire two days no, ago. I don't think I have a flat tire. You just told me so. Right. And I said, yes, I do. Because did you hit something on the that, interstate? No, I did not. I didn't hit nothing on the interstate, but the guy that owns the tire shop, that I went to, mm -hmm. he told me that you know, I needed no tires. Okay, because right now I'm kind of thinking you're intoxicated and driving. You have it's your driver's? Day. That doesn't matter. You have your driver's no, no, license on you? Yes, of course I do. You mind if I see your driver's license? I don't. Okay. Oh, you, want, you got your license? No, it's not. Well, my window's not working. Oh, okay. Having this police car over? Yeah. Where's Manning Road off of? You still live out in town? Okay. When asked about the tire condition and the possibility of alcohol consumption, the woman admitted to having a few drinks at a birthday party and the tire had been flat for two days. Could you walk with me back here? I don't do drugs. I got you. So I know you already was talking to the other officers. Yeah. Do you mind kind of recapping everything for me? I don't know. I would just 
she stopped me for gas in my car and I was going home. Okay. Where are you coming from? Just to see now. Where is that at? <laughs> Um, Stone Mountain maybe. Okay. Stone Mountain maybe. I have to go pull up So forgive sure. me if it's not there. Okay. But what were you doing over there? It's my birthday. I went okay. there okay. to celebrate. Celebrate how? Just getting food with friends? Food, yes. What, what? It's just me. Just you? My mother died earlier today. Okay, did you have anything to drink? Yes, I did. You did? Yes. How much? No, I had two shots. Two shots of? I'm a parole officer. Okay. You got a you got a pop tire? No, I didn't know that until you guys told me that. You I didn't came know here that? to no. I came so here to put gas. The other officers told me you said it happened a couple days ago. No, no, no. I said I had uh no, not a couple days ago. Oh, whatever who it was, I said, hey, I had a flight tire, but I got it taken care of. Okay. So which which tire is it? It would have been this one. This front, yes. front driver's tire? Yeah. No other tire? No. No? No. Okay. The woman was then asked to perform sobriety tests on the spot. Here, take a half step forward. Support me. Okay, so you see the tip of my pen right here, right? Right here? Okay, look at me, right? I need to Okay? I want you to follow this with your eyes and your eyes on you. You understand? Do you see the tip of this pen? Okay, so I just want to make sure you can see the tip of the pen. I want you to follow this with your eyes and your eyes on you. Do you understand? So what I want you to do now, is stand right here in my light, okay? You stand right there, and I want you to face this way, okay? Okay, I want you to face this way, and what I want you to do, I want you to imagine a straight line directly in front of you, to look at your foot, okay? You have that envisioned? I want you to put you to straight line, because it's going to be your straight line, and I don't want you to put me to straight line. Nope, it is your straight line, it is directly in front of you, the width of your foot, okay? Arms down by your side, okay? Keep this position until I tell you to do anything else, alright? When I tell you to, I want you to take nine heel to toe steps. All right? Nine. Yes, ma'am. Nine heel to Results showed she was unable to maintain balance and exhibited signs of intoxication. Therefore, police decided to arrest her for driving under the influence, DUI, unsafe vehicle operation, and driving with a suspended license. Um, I have reason to believe you're driving under the influence of alcohol. Okay, so right now, I need to turn around and we can get back. Pre-sale. I don't want okay. to buy. So real quick, it's just free. hold on, hold on. I gotta make. You have any pockets on you? Anything like that? No. No. Okay. No. I gotta put down. Make sure you got nothing on you before I can push you in the back of my car. All right. I know. Use the back of my hands. Yes, right. that's so okay. Turn around and face the door jam for me. <laughs> Police said that they were just doing their job and following the law. Police also informed the woman of the charges, including driving under the influence of alcohol, driving with suspended license, and unsafe driving. She would have to attend a court hearing to address her violations. In the next case, involving a traffic stop with a vehicle violating traffic because of speeding, 
When police asked the driver to roll down the window and began exchanging reason for stopping. What do you want us to do at the store? Because I pulled you over for a motor vehicle violation. You can't commit those on public property unless it's driving under the influence. I knew that actually. We waited there or we were just hanging out there no, taking a break? Oh, no, that's fine. Do you have your license on you? Yes, I do. I, oh, do. I, I have you stopped. Just listen to me. Listen to me. I have you stopped because I pace clocked you at 51 to 35 and you're also following the motorcycle too close. You also conducted. No, that's it. not. That's fine. You're still following too close. It doesn't matter who he is. Yeah. You also conducted an improper lane change when? you cut way too close in front of him less than a car length just a minute ago okay oh, it's gotta be 100 feet. no that's not at all actually it yeah. so i'll take your license your registration your proof of insurance it's please my car, so I don't have that's fine registration and proof of know. insurance please i'm sorry i don't even know where all that stuff is at i'm not trying to be rude i really ain't well that's i understand you're not I trying to be rude but at the end of the day exactly. at the end of the day you're getting a little amped up and that's okay you, you just you just been stopped because you committed multiple motor vehicle violations well, I don't I just explained I everything you that you did. 51 to 35, following too close, and an improper I'm lane change. Either. I'm sorry, I didn't really even know yeah. that. Yeah. No and, and that's okay. And it's not the end of the world or the crime of the century. No, no it's not even that bad. But I got you. the real deal. They're going to get me anyway, so what? The real deal is you committed motor vehicle violence. No, besides that, you okay. you already I'll were there waiting. Like, hey, I don't, uh, this isn't my car. Okay, I'm, so you don't have any of those documents? I, I, don't, I don't know where they're at. Okay. I don't. Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? I did not. My ID was. I can give you all my information. Okay. The driver didn't understand why she was stopped and claimed they didn't break traffic laws on public property unless influenced by alcohol. Police explained that they had pursued the vehicle at 51 miles per hour in the 35 mile per hour zone, and the driver had also committed other violations. Yeah, but so why did he? Sense. So let me ask you this: Why did he stop you? I don't really know. So you're not paying There's attention. No way so it doesn't matter. Me. We don't care. He can't call me from behind me. So yeah, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm shut up. No, I mean, no, no, no. If no, you no. know, then you know, because yeah. you know everything. I don't know nothing. Apparently, you do, because you want to argue. I'm not arguing. I'm asking. Like two girls are at the door. You see, you're stuck there. So why don't you come, come up and say, "Hey, we need help." Uh, Does that make any know. sense? Yeah. So we should just be like, "Hey, are you okay?" Get on the interstate. How can anyone? clock me when he was behind me. How can we clock you when we're behind you? Yeah. No, what she's saying. So how does that make sense? How do you clock somebody from behind? What, ma'am? What's your question? No, so what she was trying to say is, we sat there, y'all came back in, y'all waited, y'all came back around behind us and sat there. The female driver continued to argue with the police about violations. She also did not have vehicle registration and insurance because it was not her car. Because there's semis driving past me. Which is real dangerous, honestly. Do you want me to turn my hazards? It's real dangerous. I'm not trying to be rude at all. Well, yeah, you are. Your tone is kind of rude. Because you're looking for an argument. No, I'm not looking for I'm looking for an answer. You just gave me the answer. No, because his answer cannot be connected. You're right. You can't. You can't. I, I know how it is around here. And I'm sorry. Tristan, you're an interesting fella. I'm a girl. You'd be a fella. It doesn't mean you're a guy. Fella kind of is. Nah, it doesn't. Most people like me. That's good. Based on unusual behaviors, police asked the female driver to perform sobriety tests. Listen to me, all right? This is a felony. Yeah, um... And just listen. You're, this is a felony. You're on probation parole. No, I'm not. You're not? You're not no, any no, kind no, of supervised no, 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 release but, at all? But my friend's old, old man has a thing to go to the THC, but these are Delta 8, and they come from the store CBD stuff. Gotcha. I'll show you the cart no, thing. No, you you're fine. Just, no, 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 I'm just saying, like, it's not even just, it, real or okay. weed. Okay, well, the problem is, is that this is exactly what a THC cartridge looks like. Okay. Okay? Seven sides. Can you see my finger? Yes, I can. How many fingers am I holding up? One. Watch with your eyes and eyes only, don't move your head, okay? Okay. Next test I'm asked to do is called the walk and turn. Oh, do not do. Don't freak. You know, I got it. Next test we're going to do is called the one leg stand, okay? So now you put your feet together and your arms on by your sides. Okay. I'm going to have you begin. I'm going to say begin. You're going to choose either your right or your left leg, whatever uh -huh. you want. You're going to raise it approximately six inches off the ground, uh -huh. just like that. Count up in the manner of 1,001, yeah. 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay? 1,001. I'm not doing this. Good. I'm going to start over. I do not know what is. Okay. Okay. 
she showed concern and difficulty in performing these tests, she continuously apologized and asserted that she did not use any stimulants. Yep. All right, do me a favor. Go ahead. Bad. Put your hands behind your back for me, okay? No, no, you're arresting me. Put your hands behind your back. I swear to God, I haven't done nothing. Put your hands behind your back. I really am. I like did it on the walk right. I swear to God, I'm my sick right now. Listen to me. I will do whatever you ask me to do, please. I have a song. I am sober, I swear. After completing the tests, the police informed the driver that she had violated. Finally, the driver was charged with driving under the influence and possessing illegally controlled substances. The total bond amount was set at $3,000. Here's a tense confrontation as police conduct a routine traffic stop for a traffic violating vehicle. When police approach the vehicle, they immediately ask the driver to turn off the engine. Can you turn off the car? Off. Okay, can I see the keys? It's, I have it, it's a push start. Can I have your license and the registration for the vehicle, please? I need to see your license. And I, your I, I'm going to you, what do you, what do you pull me up for? Okay, that's not how this works. You I, give me your license. Is, oh my god, bro, what is this? This is the bullshit I talk about, man. Give me that book book that they did. Actually, it's on my phone. Who are you calling? My mother. Okay, I still need to see your license. I'm going to get everything for you. Hold on, well, just can you work on the license and not call I'm, your mom okay, right now? Okay, I have to get everything. You guys have registration, right? And your license, yes, oh, ma'am. I, I heard you. Okay, well, you're not working on what I'm asking. That's like, I asked my nephew for the book, right? Okay, you calling your mom. Okay, and this is her car. License. This is her car. Okay. The driver appeared defiant and confused about the reason for the stop, consistently questioning the police instead of complying with their requests. This caused the police officer to explain that standard procedure required her to surrender her license first. Hey, we want you to look or not look? I want you to stop. Looking. Okay, what? Okay, what is your name? Liana. Liana what? Um, oh, they been not stop with my motherfucking baby and me. Liana what? No gun in here. Liana Reeds. Can you stop reaching around? I'm Ain't none of that in here. Nobody said that there was. No, she's talking to him. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking to him. What do you mean to say? I have a picture of everything on my phone if you want to. I just moved. Would you like me to get that for you? Like, no, I don't. Get that for you. I don't. What's your first name? Right, Liana. Well, L I A N A. Tensions escalated as the driver tried to call her mother and rummaged through the car, allegedly to find her mother's license and plate number, while continually ignoring police instructions to stop with her hands out. Nobody said there was. No, she thought Y'all got some ID on y'all? Yeah, I'm talking about So what? ID? No, mine. Oh. Here's what? Mine is at home. Leanna, step up. For what? Because I'm telling you to. Yes, sir. I'm getting it. I'm... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, don't call me. I'm getting out. I'm getting out for you. Stop. I was getting get out there. for you. Stop. I was getting get out there. for you. I was getting out 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 for you. The tension peaked when the woman accused the police of breaking her leg in the scuffle when she resisted orders. The scuffle led to a further investigation, revealing that their female driver was also wanted for petty theft. You're under arrest for resisting an officer without violence, sorry, and you have a warrant. No, a warrant for what? Wait, 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 wait! Call my mom! Call my mom! No, stop! Are you kidding me? No, stop! 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 stop. Chanel! Mom! No! Okay, okay! Sit okay. down! Okay, let me breathe, I'm gonna sit Get down. in the car. I am, I am. Get in the car. I am, I'm gonna sit down for you. I'm getting up for you, I'm sitting down in the car. If it's mission no, the car? No. Watch your foot. Mama! Stop no, reaching for stuff. No, you're not. I'm trying to calm down. I'm you got you. me? Yes, I'm looking at you. I'm trying to talk to you. She has a warrant for her arrest. What did right. she do? She has a warrant. Real cut my daughter driving the car because she got a license. Who's your daughter? This one. She, she's making a big scene out of nothing. She has a, a misdemeanor petty theft warrant. Step up, boss man. Nothing illegal on you? Nothing illegal on you? Yes or no? Huh? What? Why are you so nervous, bro? Stop. Stop. Okay. He was doing a lot of reaching around. Stop. Stop right here. We don't know. Put your hands in the bag. Move your foot! Move! 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 You just broke Move. my foot! Ready? No! Move in. Okay, okay. Move your foot okay, in now. Okay. You just Back broke up now. 
You just broke back my foot. Back up foot. now. Can I talk to the female back officer? Up, back Can up, back up. Can I talk to the female officer now? Back, back up. up. Can I talk to the female? Ma'am, I will talk to you, please. Get your foot in. Ma'am, I will talk to you, please. Stop. You spit on me. I'm going to. I'm never going to spit on an officer. Watch your foot. No. Hold on. Hey. I need Get on that side and pull her back. Despite her objections and chaotic scenes, the police remained steadfast and confirming additional petty theft charges. Ultimately, the female driver was arrested for, for resisting police without violence, along with previous petty theft charges. If you find this video helpful or interesting, In the next incident, the police conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle that was stopped unusually in the middle of the road with flashing lights. Upon approaching the car, the police saw the woman in the driver's seat extending her hand out of the car window with her driver's license. Have you been drinking tonight? No. I'm trying to talk to my kid. Okay, I can smell alcohol coming off. What are you trying to get to, ma'am? This thing. What is this thing? This, the lights. Okay. Lights, the lights. And you haven't been drinking tonight? No. I can smell alcohol. I'm not. I can smell the odor of alcoholic beverages there's coming nothing, from the car. Dude, okay, well, I can nothing. smell it. Okay. There's nothing to smell. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to have you step out of the car, ma'am, okay? We're going to go to the front of the car and sit on the hood. No, I'm not going to do that. This behavior indicated that the female driver was showing abnormal signs. Additionally, the police detected a strong smell of alcohol emanating from her. I suggest yeah. that you get out of the car, ma'am. I don't think you think you... I don't... No. Ma'am, we have every legal right to ask you to step out of the car. But why? He's already explained it to you. Have you need a lawful order, you need to exit the vehicle. No, I don't need to do anything. I've already been here and I'm done that. I'm been there not... and done what? No, I don't need to do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. You've got slurred speech. I need you to exit the vehicle or I will remove you from the vehicle. Why? 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 Please explain it, ma'am. Because at this point, we believe you might be intoxicated. Why? So we need to determine that. He's explained that to you already, so I don't know if you're not understanding or not hearing. No, I hear it. Okay. And all we're asking you right now no, is no, step no. to the front of the car. Please do not. Please do not. The options are you get out and sit in the car, or we're going to pull you up on your hand please and just send the back to your patrol car. Please do not. Please do Those not. Those are your two options right now. So. Can, you, can you talk to my child? We'll take care of that. The routine traffic check quickly escalated into a confrontation when the woman refused to cooperate with the police. After multiple requests, the woman got out of the car and the police promptly conducted field sobriety tests, which she protested, citing personal health issues. Because until we determine if you're intoxicated, we don't want you behind the wheel of the vehicle. I am not intoxicated. I literally am not. I literally came out to be not intoxicated. Okay. I don't want to do this. I don't. You guys are so f not cool. I'm sorry. What's your name? Angelique. Like, like, what, 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 what? I'm just trying to ask you what your name is. I'm not stupid. At no point have I ever said that you were stupid. You never did, no. Nope. But this is still definitely stupid. Well, I guess we'll see. I smell the odor of alcoholic beverages coming from your person. That's why I asked you to pull over here, right? No, you didn't. I actually pulled over by myself. After I told you to pull over. I pulled over. Okay. I pulled over. Sure. Ma'am, do you want to just walk back? and talk I to I don't me want to do anything. Here. You don't want to do anything? Okay. No, uh, at this point, because he's being belligerent. Well, I'm, I'm going to walk no, away he's, with you. He, okay, I'm going to separate you being, from- He I'm is being belligerent. I'm okay. not doing anything with him. Okay, I'm going to no, separate- No, I'm not being with him. can you please stop interrupting me? I said I was going to separate you from him. You can come back with me and talk to me, okay? No, I don't want to do anything with you. Well, you, you're going to need to- No, I'm not going to do anything with, with you. Me. I can smell the alcohol oh, coming yeah, out of your yeah, breath. Yeah, yeah, you say that because he said no, that. No, I can smell it because you're talking and the wind I, is blowing directly into my face. It's not any alcohol. Do you feel the wind at your back? Well, yes, that wind, I I'm feel standing it. right in front of I you. I have no alcohol on me. Nothing, nothing. Go ahead. Blow, 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 go ahead. Okay, would you like to, would you like to no, perform some you. field no, coordination no, exercises? No, I'm not. Okay. Because I've done for no, thank you. No, thank you. May I please look at your eyes? But I have to say, I have my, my... What, what's wrong? I have issues with my... With what? With my, like, medical stuff. You have, you have a disability? Yes. So what would so that be? So don't do any that. Don't do that. Do what? Don't do the thing with the thing with the thing. What thing with the thing? No, don't do that. 
As the situation grew more tense, the police read the woman her rights and suspected her of driving under the influence of alcohol. Okay, bitch. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Why? You have the Why? right to talk Why? to a lawyer and have your lawyer present with you while you are being questioned. Why? Why? If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, Why? one will be appointed to represent you before questioning. If There's you decide to answer here. any questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop answering at any time and speak with a lawyer. You may use any of these rights at any time during the interview. Do you understand these rights I've read to you? No, I don't. What don't you understand about it? I don't it? understand any of the rights. No, nope. I don't. What don't you understand? I don't understand them. You have the right I don't to understand. a lawyer? No, I don't understand any of them. Why are you saying that? Because you said I have to understand them. I don't understand them. What so is it that you don't understand? I don't understand them. Sorry, I don't. Okay, do you understand that... Here's here's what I'm gonna tell you, okay? You acting like a child, I'm not crossing your like arms a child. And, and saying these things no, aren't going to change the fact no. that I smell the odor of alcohol no, on you. I'm, you I'm, have strange stop, behavior. Stop, You're being stop, belligerent. Stop. You are you are unable to complete a sentence or thought I am when you're trying to I am able. Despite her continuous resistance and arguments with the police, she was ultimately arrested for assaulting an officer, resisting arrest, and driving under the influence. Take a walk with me. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I don't want to. Do. I don't know what to do. I don't want to. Do. You know why? No, 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 don't do that. No. Why? 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 Why are you doing that? Why? Because I'm not playing this game. Give you every opportunity to comply. Why? Why? Because you are intoxicated. That is why. And this is going to be your second DUI. I've been there, okay? Please don't. Please I, I, don't if anybody please understands, don't. it's me. Please don't. Please don't. Uh, I just want to say this. She was taken to the Indian River County Jail, where she reluctantly provided a breath sample, resulting in a BAC significantly higher than the legal limit. This incident marked the woman's second DUI offense, leading to serious legal consequences. Are these videos worth it? Do you find them interesting? Please subscribe to the channel to follow the latest videos. See you again.